Loristan, a province located west of Iran with a population of around 2 million people. Its history is closely intertwined with the rest of ancient Near East. And where there is history, there is surely historical attractions left behind to admire and cherish. Kale Falakor Aflag or Falakor Aflag Castle is probably the most iconic building in Loristan, which actually dates back to the Sasanian dynasty. It was in 1969 that it was listed under Iran's cultural heritage sites. The castle is amongst the most significant structures built during the Sasanian or as known by the West, the Sasanid dynasty. It has been known by a number of names since it was built around 2000 years ago. Once, it was called Shapur Khas or Sabr Khas Fortress, and later on, there's Baz, Khoramabad Castle, and ultimately, the Falakol Aflag Castle. This complicated castle was once a palace. It was also used as a military base, and at some point, it was also used as the main department of treasury. Some say it was also a prison at some point. The foundations of the actual castle measures approximately 300 by 400 meters. The height of the entire structure, including the hill, reaches to 40 meters above the surrounding area. Under the Pahlavi dynasty, after being used as a prison until 1968, it was then transformed into a museum. In fact, now it's the only anthropology museum in Loristan, showcasing Lorish culture and tradition. One of the many appealing items in the museum are the tombstones of the people that once used to reside in the region. It was custom to put the tombstone vertically on top of the grave instead of horizontally, which was more common elsewhere in Iran. And on that tombstone, they would engrave parts of the deceased's life, what he or she went through and what they accomplished when they were alive. For instance, if the deceased was a hunter, they would have engravings of him hunting with his hunting tools. The museum is not only dedicated to anthropology, you can also enjoy looking at historical artifacts, from tools dating back to the Stone Age, along with prehistorical pottery, unique and sacred bronze objects that usually date back to 1000 to 650 BC, to porcelain and items from the Islamic era. The museum is located in the heart of the city of Khoramabad, the provincial capital of Loristan, and is open to the public seven days a week. As you wander south of the city of Khoramabad, you come across a bridge, the Broken Bridge. It's not just historical buildings and monuments left from the Sasanian dynasty. For example, this bridge that I'm standing underneath also dates back to the Sasanian dynasty. It used to connect the western part of the city to the eastern part. The bridge connected the western part of Loristan, Tarhan, to the east, and then onto Khuzestan province and Tisfun, the capital city of the Sasanian dynasty. The bridge is 312 meters long and 10.75 meters high. Out of its 28 arches, only five are intact. The others have been destroyed by natural factors and that's probably why they call it the Broken Bridge. Another bridge worth looking at would be the Kalhort Bridge located on the Loristan Khuzestan Freeway. It was actually built around 1,000 years ago, and in its time, it was surely a work of art.
In the upcoming weeks, we will bring you more of what Laura's son has to offer. So make sure you don't miss out. For the wrong program, I'm Ali Rashid.